What's good, everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cow back with another Xenoverse 2 news update for you guys today. We are here to talk about photo mode, the new light version of Xenoverse 2 that is coming out out and a lot of people may be asking what that is we'll get into that in a quick second and also we got a little bit of fighters news as well regarding some new dlc characters well the new the the new uh kid goku gt that was just um announced and confirmed for dragon ball fighter season 2 as we'll have a little bit of information regarding that at the end of the video but the first thing that we're going to talk about is the xenoverse 2 information and starting out as you guys see right here this article comes from the homies jamatsu huge huge shout out to them both articles for um xenoverse 2 and fighters actually come from them i will have their website link down below in the description be sure to check them out and definitely show them some love they put in a ton of work for the anime gaming community as far as news and things like that goes so Getting into this, um, what is said in this article, it's not much. As you guys see, it says Bandai Namco will release a free-to-play version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Titled Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Lite for PlayStation 4 on March 20th in Japan. The latest issue of uh, monthly V-Jump reveals. But basically, that will be an... Um, what's it called it will be released worldwide it only says that in japan because the v jump scans are for japan so again that should be coming worldwide as well and then it says dragon ball xenoverse 2 light will let players experience the beginning of the story parallel quest photo mode my raids online battles and all of hero coliseum all data from dragon ball xenoverse 2 light can be transferred to the full game also so basically guys there's a couple things you want to take from this right here first and foremost besides all the free stuff as you see within dragon ball xenoverse 2 light it says players will be able to experience photo mode which lets us assume that when this new dragon ball xenoverse 2 light drops on the 20th photo mode will also be available on the 20th as well and honestly it is about time guys it has been over three months since dlc 8 dropped but like i said most likely they are doing this to bridge that gap in between dlc 8 and dlc 9 and then the whole dragon ball xenoverse 2 light version almost gives confirmation to that that they're trying to not only bridge a gap but bring more people to the game they know a lot of their fan base has honestly died off within xenoverse 2 a lot of people have moved on to different games whether it be fighters some people have moved on to jump force some people have just moved on to totally different type of games like maybe apex legends or if you're still playing fortnite heavily things like that <clears throat> So again, they clearly know that a lot of their fan base has moved on and it seems that they're probably trying to attract new people for the new DLC that will be up and coming, I'm assuming in the next couple months. Because why else, honestly, would they release a free mode of Xenoverse 2? after two and a half years of the game actually being out besides to give it a little bit more promotion to get a little bit more people on the game to where they actually want to buy the game because i'm sure xenoverse 2 is probably 20 bucks 30 bucks at your local gamestop not too expensive at all so if people do enjoy the light version most likely they will be buying it and then most likely buying either the new dlc or the old dlcs at the same time i'm assuming that is their goal with this whole xenoverse 2 light mode because basically you can access the full game like you can access the beginning parts of the story and parallel quests yes but besides that it seems like you have access to everything else the my raids the online battles all of the hero coliseum which really people don't care much about the hero coliseum anymore but the fact that you have access to online battles the my raids that you can clearly do stuff with your homies in the xenoverse 2 light mode which is honestly pretty lit considering it's a free game if they did not have the online battles i can understand the light mode being a more of a demo but the fact that online battles are there i personally would not be buying the actual full game after going through the light experience yes you will not be getting all the characters all the moves and things like that but at the same time you will be having the chance to still play with your homies get a decent amount of the characters i don't know how far you can go into the story and the parallel quest with this new xenoverse 2 light mode that will be coming march 20th but again 
it seems like you pretty much get access to most of the stuff within xenoverse 2 and honestly if i was someone that was getting the xenoverse 2 light mode on ps4 i would not be buying the full version either just because you have so much access to pretty much everything within the game and yes sadly it does not seem like xbox will be getting this whole xenoverse 2 light mode but at the same time guys keep in mind japan does not believe in xbox so just because the v jump scan did not say xbox was getting it doesn't mean for sure for sure that it's not it may still get it we just do not know for sure um it's kind of seeming most likely though at the same time because not only does this article not mention anything about it but there was nothing mentioned about it with the new server update as well the new server is only coming to ps4 also so it seems like ps4 is honestly getting a couple things that xbox is not which i really do not fully understand i understand the server more because we have more people on ps4 as opposed to xbox but i do not understand why they would only drop the light version for ps4 and not xbox or steam and all those other consoles as well now this image right here i just wanted to take an enhanced look at it really quickly guys and just basically show you how beautiful i believe photo mode can probably be i'm assuming this image was captured with photo mode and honestly it just looks so dope the way they got the super saiyan 3 goku and kid buu just head to head like that i don't really see them capturing an image image like that without the potential of photo mode now i don't know what you can exactly do within it but the fact that we will be able to get images like this and just add more and more to them is absolutely fire guys i cannot wait to get this photo mode and honestly just see this photo mode being used across the the community because a lot of people make pictures and things of their cac already that look absolutely heat and that is without photo mode actually being in the game so just imagine what some people will be able to do once photo mode actually gets added so i'm pretty honest i'm honestly pretty hyped for this mode right here and cannot wait for it to come out now that's pretty much everything regarding xenoverse 2 as far as the light mode photo mode a quick look at what photo mode may be looking like as as far as to what kind of clean pictures we be uh we may be able to make within the mode as well but the last thing that we are going to be talking about is the um gt goku that is being added to dragon ball fighters for the season 2 dlc pass now again this article right here comes from the homies jamato huge huge shout out to them their website again will be linked down below in the description be sure to check them out now this one says goku from dragon ball gt will join dragon ball fighters as a playable character via play uh paid downloadable content the latest issue of monthly v jump reveals gt goku's special moves is super kamehameha which transforms him into super saiyan 3 when there are two or there are two or fewer overall team members remaining his meteor special attacks include super spirit bomb and a second hidden attack this second hidden attack is really what has me interested within gt goku i'm not someone who has played fighters in a while but honestly if the gt goku's new hidden the hidden uh secret attack has something to do with super saiyan 4 that would be absolutely insane and absolutely hype because that's truly what i feel people have wanted within dragon ball fighters like gt kid goku yeah whatever that's cool and all but what people really really wanted was to see a super saiyan 4 transformation within dragon ball fighters that's what people really wanted to see so again hopefully that second hidden attack his um second uh, meteor special attack has to do with super saiyan 4 in some kind of way now a super spirit bomb on the other hand i'm assuming that it's much quicker then the regular Goku's version, I, I would not imagine that they're going to be very, very similar to each other in the sense that it's just a massive super spirit bomb. So I'm kind of curious in that move as well to see what has changed up from regular Goku, you know, the, the Sand Saga Goku to this GT Goku, or if they're just going to kind of do a rinse and repeat type thing like they kind of did with that Goku and Vegeta DLC. A lot of stuff, a lot of animations was pretty much taken from the other Gokus and Vegetas in the game and a lot of it was copy and pasted so i'm curious as to what they're going to do with that super spirit bomb um ultimate attack but that hidden move man is the one that is very interesting and i'm sure a lot of you are interested in hopefully the actual scan will show something regarding that attack as far as an animation or just an image explanation something along those lines that explains what that um that hidden attack really is so we can see if we'll actually have some kind 
of Super Saiyan 4 within Dragon Ball Fighters or not because again that Super Saiyan 4 is what people have really really wanted and literally was one of the first mods I ever saw made on Dragon Ball Fighter, so that should just show you how much people wanted that as well. But all in all, man, that is all the news we got for today regarding Xenoverse 2 with the new photo mode coming, the, the light version of Xenoverse 2 coming as well, and then the Dragon Ball Fighters DLC with Goku GT, the kid version, who hopefully has a Super Saiyan 4 hidden attack as his um second meteor special. That would be absolutely lit. But let me know what you guys think. On the stuff that I talked about within this video regarding the Xenoverse 2 news, the, the Xenoverse 2 light, the photo mode, and the Goku GT being added to Dragon Ball Fighters. But as always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, hope you have a good day. Peace, y'all.